Born on a warm June day in 1903 in Modihari, Bengal Presidency, British India, Eric Arthur Blair, better known by his pen name George Orwell, spent his early years in India before moving to England for his education. His experiences as a colonial policeman in Burma, coupled with his keen observations of social and political issues, would later become the foundation of his influential writings. Orwell's writing journey began with Down and Out in Paris and London in 1933, a semi-autobiographical work that laid bare the struggles of poverty and homelessness in the two iconic cities. It was a stark portrayal of the working-class challenges, a theme that would recur in his subsequent works. The year 1938 saw the publication of Homage to Catalonia, a non-fiction work based on Orwell's experiences in the Spanish Civil War. It was more than a first-hand account of his time fighting against Francisco Franco's nationalists. It was a reflection of his disillusionment with the infighting among the left-wing factions and the pervasive Soviet influence in the conflict. However, Orwell's most notable contributions to literature came later, in the form of two revolutionary novels. The first, Animal Farm, published in 1945, was an allegorical novella that satirized the events leading up to the Russian Revolution of 1917. Through the story of rebellious farm animals, Orwell explored the themes of power, corruption, and betrayal with a razor-sharp wit. Then, in 1949, came 1984, a dystopian novel that painted a chilling picture of a totalitarian future. The state, led by the party and its leader Big Brother, exerted complete control over its citizens' lives. The novel, with its introduction of terms like Big Brother, Thought Crime, and Doublethink, left an indelible mark on cultural lexicon. Orwell's life journey ended on January 21, 1950, in London, England, when he succumbed to tuberculosis at the age of 46. Yet, his journey as a writer, a journalist, and an essayist continues to inspire and influence. His commitment to social justice, his opposition to totalitarianism, and his insights into the human condition have cemented his place in the annals of literature. His exploration of language and power in 1984 continues to resonate in contemporary discussions about surveillance, censorship, and authoritarianism. In conclusion, whether Orwell's works were prophecy or influence, one thing is certain. His legacy continues to shape the world of literature and beyond. His life and work serve as a stark reminder of the power of the written word, and the enduring relevance of his themes underscore the timeless nature of his insights. Today, as we ponder the question of Orwell's influence, we stand in awe of the profound impact one writer's vision can have on the world.